this is drunk as a monkey. And we met almost a year ago to the day, and it was love at first sight. So I was doing uh, Bossy's Bucket List last year for the Ladbrokes, and we headed out to Western New South Wales to Ningen for the Duck Creek Cup. And the favourite to win the Duck Creek Cup was a horse called Drunk as a Monkey, trained by Brett Robb. So who have we got our eye on? It's uh, Duck Creek. Drunk as a Monkey. That's, that's a good how, name. That's, 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 that's the best name ever. I'd love to meet the horse. Me and the horse had an immediate simpatico. Hey, he's a beauty, isn't he a beautiful yeah. horse? And he seems pretty calm too, Brad. He was nudging up against me, and I don't know a lot about horses, or at least I didn't. And so I wasn't completely comfortable. And then he started to drop his head, which means the horse is very relaxed, and we were eye contact. Anyway, we go to the Duck Creek Cup. He runs second. I'm emotionally involved. Very sorry, Brady. But uh, Does that mean he's going home with Lawrence? Or? <laughs> it could be. Hey. There's always a winner. Can we get him in the Winnebago? <laughs> and I said to Brett, so what happens after his racing life? And he goes, well, you know, we look for good homes for them. So as it turns out, they were looking for a good home for him. Three weeks later, I get a call and he was mine if I wanted him. And so I said yes to a racehorse, never having owned a racehorse. So my next question is, what, what are we going to do? <laughs> the ideal is to have, you know, your horse on your property. So that's just not the reality at the moment. But that's a good thing for people who think, well, how am I going to rehome a racehorse? You can have them on other people's property. Rossway is a place that uh, trains horses. Drunky settled in really well from the day he arrived. You know, in terms of rehoming racehorses, not every racehorse is going to be a success story. In terms of transitioning, Drunky has just nailed it. This is what we call the arena, and so this is where Drunky is basically learning that he doesn't have to be a racehorse. The reason I'm not riding him at the moment is because I'm a bit of a, of a beginner. I'm a novice rider. And so I don't want to confuse the messages that are being given to him. Jess, she's teaching him he can just relax and be a horse and go for a, a trot and a canter. He's getting consistency at the moment. I think that's the big word there, consistency. He'll make a great pet and a great horse. And in time, Maggie, my youngest daughter, who's 10 years of age, will ride him and Hopefully he'll be a part of the family for a long time. He's like a puppy dog, he's lovely. I see it as a deep and abiding love. <laughs> oh, the joy of having a horse is spoiling them. And I spend an inordinate amount of time kissing and cuddling this horse. <laughs> what the horse does for me is gives me a huge amount of joy. I'd say that I have been through some equine therapy with that horse. I feel a lot more relaxed as a person. And I put it down to the horse. They often are referred to as, you know, big dogs but they, they do have a lot of dog qualities. No. No. So, complete control. <laughs> if you got a doggy and a horse, you can't go wrong, mister. <laughs>